Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel once again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to design your back pattern. This is just a simple method of sewing this uh, design. This is just a, a slit line, inner line on your back pattern. Many people have uh, their own method of fixing this uh, back pattern, but I believe that this one I'm going to show you guys today is one of the simple and the best way of sewing this uh, inner line on your back pattern. So stay with me, don't go anywhere because you, um, you're going to like what I'm going to show you guys today. And make sure you subscribe and turn on the share button so that you notify when I upload a new video. And also ask questions, feel free to ask any question if, if you have any question. So stay with me, let's start this video. Okay now, all you have to do now is just to add one and a half inch on your back pattern. After cutting the front one, the back one just add one and a half inch and don't cut the neck or the armhole yet i can see my own i i, I added i add one and a half inch on the back pattern on the which side which is the uh, chest side the chest i added one and a half inch you can see that's one and a half inch make sure that you add one and a half inch it's okay and also at the on the left side i also add a uh, one inch for the sewing allowance extra one inch after the, your normal measurement you add extra one inch on the left side also don't cut the armhole and the neck also i will cut that letter you should get how to do that letter okay now all you have to do now is uh after uh cutting it you can see how i fold it in case you don't know how to cut your slitter at feet, I, I will add the, uh, the, the link on, on my description below so that you can also uh, watch my video on how to do that. Okay, now I'm going to fold uh, 9 inch. This 9 inch that I fold is just uh, like normal your back yoke. This one is just uh, something like uh, as back yoke. I see 9 inches is okay and I'm going to press it with my iron to make sure that uh, the it is straight now I'm going to cut it after doing that with my scissors you can see now I'm going to take a mark here at the center very very important take a mark uh, at the center like this you can see the mark okay now at that part of it also i'm going to do the same thing there also take a mark here you can see now i'm going to fold the length into two i'm folding the length now i'm going to press with my iron to give the center line make sure that uh it has a center line, a center line, and they are equal. I see. Now that one and a half inch, I'm going to measure that one and a half inch. I can see. Now I'm going to take a mark so that I will know the measurement, so that I will not uh, move more than the measurement. I will not shift inside. I can see. Now both the damn part of it has the same mark, you can see here, and also here has the same mark. That one and a half inch. I think a mark there. Now if you open it, uh, you can see what I have, I'm going to have. Both up and down have the same mark with the same measurement. Now I'm going to have three inch. That means one and a half inch on each half of it. And here also three inch. That's why you have to fold it into two and take the mark together. So that it will be the same thing. Now I'm going to fold from the front, from the first line to to the other line to make sure that they are straight. That's why I take this mark so that I will not miss the straight line. That's why you have to stick the, the mark. You can see. 
then from here i'm going to uh, press with my iron to form a straight line now you can use hot iron but not that hot control your iron so that it will show very well i mean the lines i'm folding it i'm folding from the front you see Just take your time to do that. It's very, very simple. You can see here's the mark, and also here's the mark. Also, I'm going to use a hemming gum to, to fold it. Just measure the length with your hemming gum like this. Now, I'm going to cut it into two with my scissors very very important cut it exactly into two with your scissors you can see ask question if, if you have any question after watching this tutorial remember i am folding the front here is the front and here is the back. Let me the chalk. Here is the back. Let me my name. Okay, now I'm going to place the hemming gum at that line. See how I put the hemming gum? I'm going to place it there at that line. Now I will carefully uh, fold it back again after doing that. You can see where I placed the hemming gum carefully make sure that the hemingum did not shift if the hemingum shifts and you go and you press it uh, you're going to be in a, a little bit trouble now i'm going to uh, use my iron to press it so that it is gum you can see i'm doing that make sure that the hemingum did not shift from that line it's just very simple and this is what i'm going to have you can see the folding look at what i have here now next i'm going to do i'm going to do the same thing with this one the same thing there's no difference using the remaining hemming gum to gum the other side also Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and turn the notification button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video because I have many, many more of this tutorial to teach you guys. So, subscribe and turn the notification button so that you will not miss my next tutorial. You can see, make sure that the line is straight. Make sure that the line is straight. Okay, now I'm going to uh, use the remaining half of the hemming gum on this one also. You see, I press it, then fold it back again carefully. You see, Okay, now this, this is what I'm going to have after doing that. You can see the two folding. You can see the two folding here. And I'm going to fold the two folding together like this, facing each other. I'm going to make it to face each other like this. And I'm going to use water on it. And remember to give a little gap uh, at the center. A little gap at the center. Just a little, not that much. Just take your time. Then bend this straight.
just take your time it's that's it's very simple just take your time use your cooler to cool it off can see Okay, and after that, this is what I'm going to have. And see, make sure that the food is not last. This is what I'm going to have. And see, how simple and neat. And I'm going to stitch on top of the food. In can see, I'm going to stitch on top, like I'm going to give gap inside. I'm not going to stitch at the mouth. You can see, I'm going to stitch also here. also I don't know if you have seen what I'm doing just here. I see my chalk. This way I'm going to follow. I'm going to stitch straight. And also from here, I'm going to stitch straight. The both sides. Mm, now, this, 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 this is what I'm going to have after doing that. Here is my work after sewing it. You can see. It, have a, it has a, an, an opening. You can see the opening. Okay, now I can see I'm going to food back again. I have my nose that I um, half one and half inch that I added on the back pattern. Now I'm going to fold it back like this again to cut the neck and armhole. Now that uh, nine, nine inch that I cut at the first time, you can see I'm going to place it back like this. You can see how I place it. I place it on top. Why I place it on top? Because because of the sewing allowance. Remember, I asked to, uh, to add extra one inch at the back pattern after cutting it normal. This is for the sewing allowance. That one, that one inch that I asked to add is for the sewing allowance. Now I'm going to place the front pattern on top so that I can cut the neck and the armhole. Just it's just normal like your like before. There's no difference. Just cut your your neck and, the, and your armhole. As you can see, I have not I have not cut my neck and my armhole. You can see, this is now like my normal native cutting. There's no difference. And as you can see, now I'm going to cut another uh, pattern using this one. I'm going to use this one uh, as the back yoke, but I'm going to cut another one. You can see, I use, I use that first one to cut another one, making it two. Now I have two of them, the same measurement, the same thing. There's no difference. You can see the two of them. Okay, now I'm going to gum any of them. Just choose any of them and gum. Remember, there are two. I use that that nine inch. To cut another one, I will use one for back yoke. I'm going to just come one of them, just come one of them. Come it very well. Then after coming, we trim it very well. Take your time. I'm going to trim it. As you make sure that you come you come it very well I 
and here is the other one i did not come this one you don't have to come the both of them just come one of them any of them now let me show you guys how to stitch it on your machine i'm going to open it like this on the machine you can see how i open it here is the front facing facing up i had the my back pattern i'm going to place it like this i'm pressing it make sure that they are equal you can see now the back yoke should be on top here is the under back yoke and here is the pattern then the main back yoke will be on top the one that i gummed will be on top you can see i'm going to stitch it like this straight stitch it very straight give your hand straight this is what this is what i'm going to have after doing that you can see you can see the line i'm done with the stitching and just for sure that it will not this video will not take long now i'm going to open this one like this open up like this i see how i do that you can see the on i just opened them that, that one that i gummed then place it very well now i'm going to stitch on top of it like this on top of the back yoke not the back pattern okay now this, this is this is what i'm going to have after doing that you can see I see the line. I don't know if you guys have seen it very well. Okay, now the other one I'm going to open it now. You can see. Now I'm going to place it with my iron. I can see the boot uh, back to guy for. That's why you have to cut the two of them a wall. Here is the inside. You can see. And here is the outside work. Okay guys, this is what I want, I want to show you guys. Maybe I will sh show you guys how to uh, attach it with the front pattern in case you don't know how to do that. That's why you have to subscribe to my channel and turn on the share button. This is my work. I'm going to show you guys how to stitch it from A to Z, both from the cutting. Just stay with me, don't go anywhere. Stay with me, subscribe if you're not done yet. And this is the last uh, part of this tutorial. And I hope you guys understood everything that I that I did here. In case you're confused in any way, you're free to ask any question on the comment section. This is what I want to show you guys. And here's the end of my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Please make sure you subscribe. See you guys in my next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video.